This is a review of the GMARC Serenities by Hearing Direct. As we can see, uh, this is a desk phone um, and is a particular feature of this phone is the um, emergency response or the emergency feature, which is supported by this uh, wristband here. Uh, however, we talk about a few of the other features of the phone and then we'll finish with the, um, with the SOS feature. So uh, a lot like many of the other GMARC model phones we, su we supply, uh, we do have extra large buttons here and they have uh, a good white on black background so that enables them to be easily seen and used. Um, up here we have the navigation buttons for the uh, LCD display here which will enable the phone book to operate, uh, time and date, uh, and also would display a caller ID if you subscribe to that. So that's what the uh, screen up here will do. Um, down here we have the um, speakerphone option, so the phone can be used in a hands-free fashion, and the volume control for the speakerphone uh, functionality. The numbers down the side here, M1 through to M5, are uh, programmed memory speed dials, so you just press that button once and it will dial the selected um, phone number. And uh, along the bottom here, we have a, a, a range of keys, which most people will be familiar with from their standard phone. The only one that they may not be familiar with is this button here, and that is to select the headphone se uh, selection, which is unusual for some phones. Um, I'll quickly show you that, which is on the side here. Down here, you'll see a little headphone socket. We do provide something called the GMARC CLA3, which will fit into this socket here, um, and is a, a head for headset that can be used, so that's uh, for the headphones and also a little microphone boom, so you can use the phone using a, a headset rather than the handset or the speakerphone. Uh, in addition, just to finish off the buttons that we can see here, we have a slider here, this is for the tone on the phone, and a slider here which is for the volume control. We'll come back to the SOS button at the end. And then on this side of the phone, this here is your boost button, which you can press several times, and even when the phone is set to maximum, this will then turn it up quite significantly in, in jumps rather than on the slider here. So when this is set to maximum, and this is set three times to maximum, the phone will then enter its maximum volume capability. And that maximum volume is 30 decibels. Uh, and that, when compared to a standard phone of around eight decibels, gives you an indication as to how much louder this phone can be if that's what you're uh, potentially looking to um, buy this type of phone for. So just quickly to finish off the other parts of the phone, we can just have a quick look at the rear of the phone here. Um, and you can see here, this switch here will enable the screen to become here to be backlit, um, which is either can be on permanently during the day, or you can leave that on at night and it gives you some degree of a night light as well if that's your uh, if that's something that would be suitable. Um, on here is the connection to the telephone socket, so the connection cable supplied with the phone itself can then be uh, plugged in one end here and the other foot into the phone socket in the wall. It does require its own power supply, so it comes again with a, a power supply cable and a normal three pin plug to go into the wall. And then this button here is to set on and off for the strobe function of the phone, and by that we are talking about the flashing light here that can be used to alert somebody to an incoming call. So the final feature, as I said I would talk about at the end, is this SOS feature here. The way this works is that you, uh, following the user guide details, you can set five numbers that will be dialed in sequence until a human response is obtained when this button is pressed, or more importantly, when if uh, for any reason there is a, a, a moment of, of, of help required, um, in the case of a fall perhaps, um, or indeed for any other reason, um, the, the user can, wearing this wristband, simply would press and hold this button here. It would then communicate wirelessly with the phone and it would have the same effect as if you were pressing this button here. And it will then dial through a sequence of five numbers in order to obtain a human response. Um, and clearly the, the idea is when it does uh, receive a human response, it will play an automated message to say that whomever the person is that, that has pressed this button is in need of some urgent assistance. So that's the GMARC Serenities. Um, we do have uh, a number of uh, members of our team who can happily talk about this phone in a bit more detail, and they're available 9 to 5, 
during the working week, Monday to Friday, on 0800 032 1301. Or alternatively, you can uh, contact us out of hours through our email address, which is services at hearingdirect.com.